Alright, so here we have one of uh, RC Power's newest motors. This one is the 1506 3400 KV. Uh, this motor also comes in a 4100 KV version, so RC Power was kind enough to send me both uh, versions so I can test them and share the results with you guys. So thanks uh, to RC Power for sending me test samples uh, to review. So let's uh, take a look at it. It comes in the usual RC Power box. Except this time they don't give you the dense foam, uh, black foam that they usually give you with the other motors, but that's fine. Uh, motor comes in inside of this bubble wrap and they give you some uh, uh, pretty short screws. Uh, so this most likely won't uh, be useful because they're too short uh, for uh, most of the frames that we use are usually 3 millimeters. So uh, these are uh, looks like M2 by 5 so for 3 millimeters uh, yeah they might be useful for 3 millimeters uh, 3 millimeter frames and these motors do have designated uh, rotation so CW and CCW so the threads on the propeller shaft are gonna be uh, standard and reverse so standard are these with the uh, with the shiny nut uh, and they do they do give you these uh, low profile nine locks, and the reverse thread is gonna be the black nine lock. So here we have the 4100 kV and the 3400 kV, and pretty nice uh, looking motors. Uh, the color scheme that they use uh, looks pretty good, I think. Uh, purple and black, uh, pretty pretty good combination. They they do look really good. Uh, so the way they made these motors is a uh, pretty standard typical configuration with the full base and the integrated prop shaft onto the, the bell. Uh, so the one thing I do have to criticize about the motor is the short uh, wires that uh, they come from the factory. They're only about 80 millimeters. So generally I like to see at least 100, 120 millimeters or so, so that it, you'd have enough length to get to the center mounted 4-in-1 ESCs and you don't have to splice in wires. These have a 3 millimeter shaft, so that's kind of uh, different, that most of the motors will have a 2.5 millimeter shaft, so 3 millimeter is pretty, pretty beefy, so that, that should help a lot uh, to prevent uh, keep the the shaft uh, from bending and crashes so so that's pretty good and it's uh, secured by just the standard uh, C clip right there so let's uh, get re let's remove that C clip and uh, pull this apart all right so here's the motor up close the typical construction for RC and power a pretty nice finish on the uh, motor armature so I took out the C clip and we can remove the bell and there's the uh, pretty beefy shaft that's a three millimeter shaft so it's pretty beefy compared to all the motors on this uh, similar size uh, they usually use two and a half millimeter shaft so this one uh, they went with a three millimeter shaft so so that should uh, that should be pretty strong in crashes. Uh, shouldn't expect it to bend. That's uh, pretty beefy. Uh, looks like uh, that's multi-strand wire. It's pretty thin. So the uh, stator height should be six millimeters. Uh, so there it is, six millimeters. No surprises there. And overall, pretty pretty neat windings as you can see there and uh, uh, this this is still not on the official RC Power uh, website so I don't have I don't have actual specs for the uh, motor as far as the the type of magnets they're using I don't know if they're N48 or N52 but uh, pretty good density on the magnets there as you can see uh, so something interesting on this motor is that uh, it's using 10 poles. As you can see, there's 10 magnets there. 
usually motors this size that have uh, nine coils on the stator will have uh, 12 uh, magnets so that's uh, that's what the 9N uh, 12P configuration so this one's 9N 10P so kind of interesting pretty good uh, construction on the motor our scene power usually does a really good job at uh, QC and overall quality of the mo their motors uh, usually it's quite high they have a very good uh, manufacturing process there all right, so put the C-clip and we'll put it on the uh, thrust stand and see what this uh, motor can do with uh, the usual props on 3, 4 and 5 inch props. Alright, so let's look at the thrust test results for this motor, RC in power 1506-3400 kV. As you saw, the motor measured uh, pretty close to the 3400 kV. Uh, it measured 3380 on my thrust stand, so that's that's pretty close. That's pretty much uh, as spec So I went ahead and tested on 4S with the usual props, uh, starting with the 3-inch props all the way to the 5-inch props. Uh, so the motor performed pretty well I think uh, and it should compare favorably with against the 1407s if you compare it I was looking at, at some of those 1407 results that uh, this was actually a little bit higher uh, than the brother hobby 1407 3600 that's pretty good out of this motor uh, the performance is just slightly higher uh, not a lot uh, just slightly so it should be a very good option for those of you looking to build a 3 inch or 4 inch quad based on a 1407 Overall, the thrust is a little bit higher with a little bit more amp consumption, but it, it's pretty much like a 1407. So the only thing left uh, to check is how it feels in the air, if it's as responsive as the 1407. I haven't yet uh, tried one of these 1506 uh, uh, motors on, on the air, so uh, I've yet to see a uh, research video on those and see what people think about them. But on the thrust then it looks like it, it should perform just as well as the 1407s. So as you can see uh, with the popular props like the Dow T4045 by 3 uh, for 4 inch. Very close to 1 kilogram so that's, that's pretty impressive. And on a 5030 which uh, some people use these motors uh, the 1407s uh, to drive 5 inch props. You know it's 1 kilogram at, at a slightly high amps but uh, keep in mind that these are uh, all these amps are static so they're gonna be a little bit exaggerated so when you're flying they're gonna be a lot lower about 25 to 35 percent lower amps so so this is pretty manageable actually uh, and actually a lot of people use this uh, these motors on five inch builds even with the higher pitch 50 45 prop i've seen people flying these uh, motors uh, so overall a very good option for those micro builds uh, based on the 1407 you can also go with a slightly larger diameter 1506 and should be it should be a good option anyway uh, and then uh, these RC power motors are actually pretty good quality ever since I checked out the first ones a couple of years ago uh, the 2205s 
I was pretty impressed with the quality of the motors, so, and they've kept that quality throughout on, up until today. So, so a pretty good option, and you shouldn't go wrong uh, picking these RC and Powers motors. Uh, usually, if you look at most people's comments, they're pretty satisfied with these motors. So all right, that's the review for this motor and the thrust test. Uh, so hope you find the data useful, and thank you for watching, and until the next video.